Well, we're going to assume that everything went smoothly. You gave the correct stickers, gave the correct information to your supplier. And now your supplier is sending it to the Amazon Fulfillment Center. What kind of track, what kind of uh, adventure do your boxes go through? Where do they go? How do they reach the Amazon Fulfillment Center? Well, it starts off here on the top left. Okay, it starts, it starts off in your supplier's warehouse. And when you're ready to ship your items from your supplier's warehouse to the Amazon Fulfillment Center, your supplier will put it on either a cargo ship or an airplane, depending on what type of shipments you have decided on. Did you decide on air or did you set, decide on ocean? Ocean is a lot cheaper. I definitely recommend ocean. Just takes a really long time. Air is a lot quicker, like a lot quicker, but it's a lot more expensive. So I would recommend cargo ship and that's what most people get. Cargo ship, cargo ship is just making its way from the um, the port in your supplier's country. And it's usually China. So the port of China, right? It goes straight to the port of the United States and it reaches the port in the United States, which is its own fulfillment center. It's like a port with a bunch of products. Lots of people import to the United States. So there are special warehouses designed for that. And the carriers like UPS, FedEx, DHL, they know about these ports and they go to these ports all the time to pick up because that's not the final destination for these products. It's just a, a area in the United States where products check in to the United States and the carrier will bring it to its final destination. In this case, it's Amazon. So our final destination, it's Amazon. Once it reaches the Amazon Fulfillment Center, you will receive an email that says, hey, your items have checked in. That doesn't mean that your items are gonna be live right away. It just means that Amazon has started checking in those items. And I can tell you from experience that Amazon takes forever to check in those items. I would wait a week, maybe even two weeks. It really depends on what quarter we're in. If we're in the fourth quarter, like December, Christmas, Amazon's gonna take forever for everything, okay? And um, yeah, so your products are gonna reach the Amazon Fulfillment Center, wait for that email. Once you get that email that your products are being checked in, you're gonna be live in a little bit and you can start with your promotions, your Amazon advertising to see exactly how your product performs. And you know, hopefully your product performs well. Now, another thing that I want to talk about just in case you have not heard this yet, is trade terms. Now, you're going to be speaking with, you know, from, from week three and on, uh, you're going to be speaking to suppliers and you're going to be hearing these trade terms left and right, EXW, FOB, and DDP. Now, EXW stands for X Works. I don't get it. FOB stands for free on board and DDP actually stands for delivery duties paid, but the nickname is door to door. Now, EXW is when you're in charge of everything. You're in charge of the shipping, you pay for everything. Now, some logistics experts might elect EXW because they get it for cheaper and more power to them. If you're a logistics expert, I suggest you do EXW. I don't know how to do EXW, so I don't recommend EXW. I recommend DDP. DDP is when you are not liable for anything. You, you don't have to pay any, you just pay your supplier. It, that's why it's called delivery duties paid. Duties is another word for taxes. So the delivery taxes are already paid. So you don't have to pay for anything. That's why it's called DDP, delivery duties paid. But the nickname is door-to-door -door shipping. You have zero obligation. FOB is similar to EXW. You still have to coordinate some things. You still have to know how to pay duty fees. You still have to know how to pay taxes, but you only pay for half of it. It really depends on what you negotiate with your supplier, but I still don't recommend FOB. I do recommend DDP. Once you're familiar with these terms, you're going to be a logistics expert and you can speak with your suppliers and let them know exactly how you want your items transported to the Amazon Fulfillment Center.